they don't have the opportunity to. I don't think, I don't think, there, I mean, there probably are, but I don't think there's many women that, that have that problem to where they can't get laid, no matter how hard they try. Men, they, <laughs> they can try their whole damn lives and never, ever get laid. Subscribe to this channel. In case you are watching this channel, I have not subscribed. What is the craziest thing you've been offered or gotten away with just for being pretty? Oh gosh, okay, so um, I'm a bartender. So I get a lot of older gentlemen in that offer to take me on trips and shopping sprees, vacations, whatever. I feel like I've just been offered drinks like all the time. I've been offered tickets to places, I don't take them. Um, I've been offered drinks, but I can pay for myself. Offered a lot of threesomes. That's about it. That's, that's I think bad. just like free food, <laughs> free clothes, free stuff from the mall. Traveling for free. Trips, PJs, which are private jets in case you didn't understand the abbreviation. Not pajamas. Uh, yeah, Whoa. not pajamas. Have you taken any of those offers and did they come with expectations? Absolutely, I have and yes, they have. They always come with expectations, but never take the offer because they come with expectations. 99% of those come with other expectations, so I've never accepted one of those before, but you definitely get offered them all the time. It's kind of like standard. You'll get random messages, them, you know, people taking groups of gr pretty girls and, you know, they just want, you know, pretty faces to come along. Sometimes I just want a, a hot girl on my arm. It doesn't matter what, she's, what she thinks. Some good guys don't want a beautiful girl because beautiful girls come with problems. How do you plan to keep men interested in you when your looks begin to fade? I've been thinking this whole time. I don't think I've been offered shit. <laughs> uh, I'm not saying I'm like the best looking, but I ain't ugly, dog. Uh, I, I had no problem getting bitches. I, I think maybe the, the most I've ever been offered is like some car rides when I ain't have a car or something. I can't think of one thing that a bitch has offered me to get me to hang out with them or for attention. Well, I guess pussy, but... Yeah, I guess that's really the only thing that they offer is pussy. <laughs> well, I've really, I've really tried to think that's this whole time about like, has, has a bitch ever offered me anything? And I can't think of shit. Um, to clean my house and stuff, or or to cook for me. Now I get, I get that a lot. Well, I used to. I'm, I'm dating now, but I used to get that shit a lot. Uh, yeah, I think that's about it. Just help. <laughs> Never know material items, that's for sure. Well, with my personality, I think. Yes, maybe. Of course, we look good, but I think that <laughs> the personality, 100%. Why do you think more women don't rely on their personality before their looks begin to fade? Because I think a lot of women were just born pretty, so they didn't have to learn to focus on their inside. <laughs> because they're not yeah. really thinking about it. I feel like a lot of women just in general feel like looks are always going to be there thinking that your looks are going to maintain a relationship, then you should really change your perspective and maybe the situation you're in isn't the best situation in general. Looks are a depreciating asset. They're amazing because it comes with great opportunity and great interactions with people, but it's definitely a depreciating asset. So It's often said the more physically attractive a woman is, the less compatible she tends to be with a man because she didn't have to work on her personality. Right. What are your thoughts on that? then they're comfortable too they think that they don't have to put in work because they think that if this relationship doesn't work then they can just go on to the next guy and that is true to an extent but eventually that shit is going to run out <laughs> like eventually you're going to be 36 no kids no man about a thousand bodies on your record and you just ain't gonna have nothing that a man is going to even be interested in like at least dating wise you might get fucked but you still ain't gonna get no man to be yours and if that's fine with you, then that's fine with you. But I hope you've at least made it. I hope you've at least saved up enough money to help you get through the rest of your life since you ain't going to have a man to help you. I think in some cases this can be true. And I think it has to do a lot with how uh, someone was brought up. And if their parents emphasized a lot of value on attractiveness, then this can make it harder for someone to you know, work on their personality and what it takes to really create a relationship. Oh no, that's hundred percent true. I've, I've like talked to some beautiful girls and it's been really hard, but you know, like some sevens, some eights, that's, that's perfect. They, they're the best. Right. Do you think beautiful women are more privileged or disadvantaged by their looks? Mm, I privilege. Think, yeah. Privilege. Yes, privilege. Are there any disadvantages to being beautiful? A lot. Maybe the men think we are like uh, stupid because 
See, I, I, it depends on what you consider privileged. If you're considering just the easy life to where you don't have to do much and you don't really have a, a future of, and you don't really have goals in the future to have a family, I think being beautiful is, is more beneficial. But if you do want to have a family and you do want to find a man and you don't, and you don't mind working and you don't mind like putting in the effort into a relationship or into a marriage, then I think being less beautiful well i don't know because i guess you could be beautiful and still have all those things but it's just not as common i don't know you're expected well you get things because you are but at the same time you want to work for what you have but people don't want to let you work for shit <laughs> when you really like a guy do you make any effort to impress him or do you just show up i just show up isn't the man also expected to look his best no not for me why do so many women think looking your best is going above and beyond when it's really just the bare minimum? I wouldn't say it's the bare minimum at all. It takes a long time to get ready like this. Why does a woman's choice to look pretty make them feel like they're owed attention and resources from a man? I don't think that means that they're owed anything. I think it's just a decision to make us feel better about ourselves. If women expect to be compensated for the expense of their hair, nails, and makeup, should a man be compensated for his gym membership? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> mm. uh, yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. Can you be out of somebody's league, or is beauty really in the eye of the beholder? Uh, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Being out of someone's league is kind of someone, if a guy is sitting on the couch just watching TV, why a beautiful woman is, you know, volunteering and has a wonderful job and has a great group of friends, that would absolutely put her out of your league. I'm still looking for someone to be out of my league. Isn't beauty in the eye of the beholder? Yes. Do you believe that less attractive people tend to have more meaningful relationships? Most definitely, because they're not really based off their looks. It's based off personalities from the beginning. So if you want I always thought that. I always thought other people had it the easiest. If you want to have more meaningful relationships, why would you want to be attractive? I don't want to be attractive. God just made me this way. I don't even think I'm attractive. I just think I'm me. So why do you have braces then to try to fix your smile? Because it's my own insecurity. If you're taking the complete attractiveness out of it, you're just focusing on those other qualities and... I definitely think it might be easier to have a good quality relationship if you're not bringing that factor in. Why are there women who know they are pretty, know they can get men, but are still insecure about themselves? Ah, uh, ah. Uh, because they've I been ran know. through. Because <laughs> that's a hard question to answer. Because society tells us we have to be insecure about literally everything. That's how they make their money. I'm she ain't wrong, but that's that's both ways. I hope she don't think it's just women. A lot of times when you're getting attention all the time, when you see a distinct difference and you're not getting as much attention as you used to it can really create a lot of insecurity in people um, and also creates these crazy expectations of themselves as well that's one thing that annoys me is that insecurities are just supposed to be this thing nowadays that you're not supposed to have i think insecurities are the most beneficial thing to you as a person it's something that helps you realize that you have something to fix I mean, it, it depends on what you're insecure about. Like if you're an amputee and you and you have to be in a wheelchair and you're insecure about not having legs, I completely feel for you. But if you if it's like your smile or something and you got the money to get braces, then then you have nothing to be insecure about. Just know that it's something that you're flawed with and that you want to work on to fix. It's the it, same way like if you're scrawny or if you're fat or if you're um, balding since they got that shit now or if you got small titties because they got that shit now. I don't like implants, so I mean that that's that's so I know a lot of men do. Me, I think implants look terrible. They look like just Barbie doll titties. They just sit there, they don't move, they don't do nothing. They just there. They look good with the clothes on, but once you take the clothes off, they just look like what in the fuck do you got in your chest, bitch? <laughs> but uh but as long as it's something you could work on and it's not something that's gonna destroy your confidence more by working on it like i know that getting fake titties for some women probably would destroy their confidence more or at least if i was a woman i know that would destroy my confidence because i don't like the way they look but i've never met a woman that said that she doesn't like fake titties but as long as as long as what you're doing isn't destroying your confidence in the process then it's not really something to really hate that you're insecure about you should as long as you're able to fix it and it doesn't bother you to fix it then i don't think being insecure about it is a bad thing it should be something that you should honestly appreciate to know that you're not perfect and to know that you got something to work on and, and to be a better person, whether it's like physical or financial or anything, as long as it's something you can work on, let that shit fuel you. Why are men expected to be confident by women who seem so insecure? 
because they want a confident man, but themselves are not confident, so they have to overcompensate for them. Sometimes I wake up and I put on some clothes and I'm like, oh, no, I don't look good. But then I think, oh, I'm a dude, so it doesn't matter. And it, it I feel does, like as a though. girl, you have to really think about it. But, it's, but no, I don't know, man. Like, I feel like if you just care more about your looks, you might pull better bitches. Same with a woman. She don't have to care about her looks and she can, she can still pull guys, but she ain't going to pull the guy, you know? Like, it's, being physically attractive is a, is a major thing that people should, should be concerned with. Like, it's, it should be highly sought after. I don't know. Women, they just think they're very empowerful and just run the world. It really, they're bad right now. A lot of these women are hoes and broke. Yeah. Are beauty standards hard for young men or for young women? Um, young men. Young men is way harder because there's such a statistic for men to be um, strong, hard, um, being very set in what they're doing. They have to bring stuff to the table. They have to have money, all this stuff but a lot of people don't have that themselves, but want people to do it themselves. See, the thing that's, that I think makes it harder for men is the fact that the thing, the, the, the standards that women have for men are things that can't be changed. Like whether it's the, whether it's like the, well, I guess you could change your hairline, but I was thinking more like height, uh, your dick size, uh, how strong you are. Well, you can fix your strongness, but you can't really fix your, your masculine mentality. You know, like if, if you don't like, if you think sh hunting and, and, camping and wood cutting like i don't know just you know just stuff that's typically masculine if you don't like that shit as a man it, it, it will turn off a woman so it's like the stuff that women the stuff that women hold the standards to with men are things that you can't really fix i guess men kind of do too though with, with big titties and big ass and height I, I i care about height i don't want no tall bitch so i guess i guess i'm wrong on that but i just think it's harder for men anyways because it's if, if you don't if you don't meet if you aren't like at least average or above it's just almost impossible for you to find a woman <laughs> unless you just find like a, a, a birth a type bitch or you go gay it is almost impossible that's why there's so many men that that's why there's so many men that are virgins and, and die virgins because they don't have the opportunity to. I don't think, I don't think there, I mean, there probably are, but I don't think there's many women that, that have that problem to where they can't get laid, even, no matter how hard they try. Men, they, <laughs> they can try their whole damn lives and never, ever get laid. Is it hard to grow muscles or just not overeat? Ah, it's harder to grow muscles. I like to overeat though. <laughs> Is it harder to grow muscles or just not overeat? <laughs> Uh, not overeat. <laughs> is it harder to lose weight or gain height? Oh my God! Oh, what? Harder to lose weight? Yeah. Or no, harder to gain height. Sorry. Okay. Gain okay. height. <laughs> I wish I was six So, four. wouldn't beauty standards be harder for young men? Ah, oh, man, you're kind of right, huh? So, wouldn't beauty standards? Man, I be did forget they got them fucking them lifts now or whatever you put in your shins or whatever and they make you taller i would never dog that looks that just looks like painful as fuck there there ain't no way that that shit's gonna work when you're 60 like dog you'll be in a wheelchair and i i don't know maybe maybe i'm wrong but from me from me seeing the shit it just looks like it's just gonna be a, a life full of just struggle harder for young men but then again bbls and those types of surgeries can kill bitches so I don't know. I, I I didn't know that BBLs were that dangerous until just recently, and it's and it's honestly insane how many bitches get BBLs and and stuff like that whenever they get their fat transferred or whatever. It's, it's I think it's that one that that's really deadly. But uh, but I'll put a statistic up whenever I edit of how many women die from that shit because it's it's insane, honestly. Oh dear God! There's a yeah. You got me there. You got me there. So wouldn't beauty standards be harder for young men? Yes, a hundred percent, a hundred percent. Obviously, if you can become a more conscious and aware person and you have an asset of being attractive and you're also working on different assets that are required for re relationship and connection growth, then that's like the ultimate, you know, that, that puts you to so many opportunities and having a very fulfilling life. Um, so it's really up to each individual person. Uh, so, but I don't know, nowadays people can just have surgeries and stuff, but I, I think natural beauty is the best. And it actually, I think you can natural feel right here, baby. natural beauty. It's really within. How many females? I wonder, uh, I wonder if the red pill movement, you know, the whole masculinity movement, the men improvement movement, all those, you know, all those movements. I wonder if those movements have actually been teaching women like this 
like the struggles of men because i haven't seen one woman on here that really is just like delusional as fuck i remember whenever i first used to start watching it's complicated before i even made my youtube channel all the bitches on here were just delusional as fuck they didn't have no sense of just reality but a lot of these women on there are actually like kind of kind of close to the real to the right answer or at least to my opinion on the right answer female dominated industries can you think of that aren't sex or beauty related zero but that's gonna change can you think of any famous female role models who aren't actual models mm. Mm. oprah winfrey Ooh. okay but other than that isn't being beautiful generally a prerequisite for being influential yes I was I was gonna say Lizzo, but she's still a model to some people. I, I think that, but you know, I, there are a lot of motherfuckers that like her. I think a majority of people that compliment her are women because they're just being nice. But you know, damn damn well, there's a bunch of dudes that be in her shit that actually want that are actually attracted to her. Although I think most of them are for fetishes. But I don't know. I don't know if that's. I don't know if, if you can. I don't know if, if being in a relationship with someone that fetishizes fetishizes you is good maybe it is i don't know so beauty has privilege doesn't it it does why is there so much talk about things like male privilege and white privilege but we never talk about pretty privilege because a lot of people are pretty because i feel like no, we're trying really. to exclude ourselves from that narrative because we don't feel like we fit in that narrative when we obviously do why isn't there equity for ugly people should the government provide them plastic surgery <laughs> Absolutely not. That's crazy. <laughs> um, there's no equity for unattractive. I'm not going to use the word ugly. Uh, Why? Because attractiveness is, like I said, it's a depreciating asset in the realm of life. And I think happiness and the success of your life, it really means nothing. It's an asset. It's like having a nice car. But are you going to have a better life because you have a nice car? Absolutely not. And if you miss as a man, you might use it. It can actually make your life worse. Is it possible to be a hot girl in a big city and not let your ego get the best of you? No. These girls let their ego get the best of them. It's possible. Yeah, she's been real this whole time. Probably because she's not, I mean, she ain't ugly, but she, she ain't the most attractive. But yeah, this, uh, this video got a little bit long, so I'm going to end it there. Uh, if you guys liked the video, please leave a like. If you guys got anything to say about the video, let me know down below. You know, I'll read every single comment. And if you fuck with your boy, will you please give me a subscription? With that said... Deuces. The road, bitch, I'm putting work. Don't never play me, think you get it first. The life that I'm living so fast. Making these bitches, they calling me daddy. Ain't hitting if she ain't giving head. Ain't hitting if she ain't got a fatty. They say time is money, gotta move fast. Gotta slow it down, so I run a fatty. I don't fuck with new niggas, so if you ain't my nigga, go ahead, get the fuck from around me.